All right, we're on problem number nine. At least for the first next, the the next few, I don't think I have to copy and paste these problems. I can just write it. So they, it looks like a little bit of algebraic long division. Problem nine. They want us to divide two x plus seven into. It's pretty long, so I'll give some space. Two x to the fourth plus twenty one x to the third plus thirty five x squared. Minus 37x plus 46. This might look daunting, but once you start, it's not so bad. So like any long division, you kind of look at the biggest place. And the, place, the, the largest degreed place, at least in this polynomial, is the 2x place. And that's what we work with. So we say, how many times does 2x go into 2x to the fourth? Well, let's see, the 2 goes into 2 one time, and x goes into the x to the fourth x to the third times, right? What's x to the fourth divided by x? It's x to the third. So we say it goes into it x to the third times. And if we were right, when we multiply, we should get 2x to the fourth. So x to the third times 2x is 2x to the fourth. And then x third times 7 is plus 7x to the third. Right? If this was like a. You know, some other. If this was well, well, we'll worry about it when we get to it. But you would ha you would want to put it under the appropriate place in this number. But it just happened to be that x to the third was the next one. Now you subtract, just like you do with regular long division. These cancel out. Twenty one minus seven is fourteen x to the third. And then you could bring down all of this, but we can worry about that in a second. So how many times does two x go into fourteen x to the third? Well, two goes into fourteen seven times plus 7, and x goes into x to the third x squared times. And if we're right, when we multiply, it should work out. So 7x squared times 2x is equal to 14x to the third, like we thought it should. 7x squared times 7 is what? That's plus 49, 49x squared. And now we subtract 14x to the third minus 14x to the third, that's 0. Now we have 35. We could bring this down, just if it makes it easier. 35x squared. 35x squared minus 49x squared. Let's see. So it's minus 14, right? 49 minus 35 is right. So it's minus 14x squared. And then 2x goes into minus 14x squared. So 2 goes into minus 14 minus 7 times. And then x goes into x squared x times. When you multiply this, minus 7x times 2x. So you get minus 7 times 2 is minus 14. x times x is x squared. Of course, you have to multiply it times both terms, right? We're multiplying times this whole expression. Minus 7x times 7 is minus 49x. Minus 49x. Now we're ready to subtract again, and I'm running out of space. These cancel out. We could bring this minus 37x down. So minus 37x. Remember, we're subtracting this, right? We could almost say we could almost add the negative, right? Let's make the negative. So it's, this is minus 37x minus minus 49x. The same thing as minus 37x plus 49x. I added, I made both of those positive just to simplify it in my brain. Oh, whoops! I didn't want to go down that much. Okay, so. This is equal to, these cancel out, and then this is equal to 12x. And 2x plus 7 goes into 12x. Well, now let's see, 2 goes into 12 six times. x goes into x one time, so then this is equal to plus 6. 6 times 2x plus 7. 6 times 2x, I know you can't see it, is 12x. And then 6 times the 7, 6 times 7 is 42. 42. We have a 46 up there. I should have written smaller, so you get us 46. And now we're ready to subtract again. 12x minus 12x is 0. 46 minus 42 is 4. So we have a remainder of 4. So let's see. Our answer is all of this with a remainder of 4. So all of that plus the remainder over what we're using to divide into. 2x plus 7. So it's our answer, let's see what choice it is. It's x to the third plus 7x squared minus 7x plus 6 plus 4 over 2x plus 7. We just took our remainder and say, OK, whatever this is, it's, that's also there. So that is 
choice, it's the x to the third plus 7x squared minus 7x minus 7x plus 6 plus 4 over 2x plus 7. It's not, let's see, yeah, I can actually show you what I'm like. So it's actually choice D is our answer. I was just reading, I was just reading choice A. I should have shown you that on the. So choice D is our answer. Next question, problem number 10. That one took up more space than I expected. Problem number 10. Which polynomial represents? So they want us to multiply. This is how they write it. 3x squared plus x minus 4 times 2x minus 5. I find this just you know multiply these the way I would multiply any number. So I would multi I'd rewrite it as 3x squared plus x minus 4 times, and I put the same degree under the same degree, times 2x minus 5. And now let's take the 0th degree place. I guess you could view it that way. Minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20. Minus 5 times x is minus 5x. Minus 5 times 3x squared is minus 15x squared. Minus 15x squared. 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x. I'll put it in this place, because that's our x's space. Minus 8x. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x squared. And then I should have had all of this. Actually, I think I can do that. Let me see if I can move all of this to the right, the magic of computers. I can move it all to the right, although I have to I should color that back in. Let's see if I can color that. Look at that. All right, back in business. All right, so I did 2x times minus 4 is minus 8x. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3x squared is 6x to the third. 6x to the third. This is a plus. Now we just add up everything. Add up everything. So we get 6x to the third minus 15 plus 2 minus 13x squared minus 13x plus 20. So 6x to the third minus 13x squared. I'm just checking all the choices. Minus 13x plus 20. That's choice B. Problem 11. Problem 11. Let's see. They wrote. They wrote. Minus 2. This is problem 11. Just so you know what we're doing. Minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 1 minus 2 times 4x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to. Well, now we just have to simplify this. Let me rewrite this part. This is minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 1. And now we have to distribute this. The, I've, you know, let's distribute a minus 2. So minus 2 times 4x squared is minus 8x squared. That's that. Minus 2 times minus 3x, that's plus 6x. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. And now let's see, we can add the like terms up. Let's see what this is equal to. Let's do the x squared term. So first I'll do the minus 2x squared and minus 8x squared. So that is minus 2 minus 8, that's minus 10x squared. Let me do another color for each of them. Then I have the x terms. I have x, 6x, and then I have another 6x. You add them together, you get 12x plus 12x. And then you have your 1's terms, your x to the 0th power, you could view it. You have plus 1 and minus 2. So that's minus 1. And then that is choice. Let's see, let me scroll down. That is choice D, minus 10x squared plus 12x minus 1. Choice D. Problem number 12. Problem 12, we're on a roll. Problem 12. Which expression is equivalent to? So now they're multiplying. They write 6y squared minus 2 times 6y plus 2. I always find it easier to multiply. I mean, you could do this in your head. And you, could, you should practice doing it in your head. But if you never want to make a mistake, you just write it like this. 6y squared. And I have nothing in the x's spot. And I say minus 2. 
And then this one is 6y. I write that in the y spot. This is y squared. This is y. This is y to the 0, which is just 1, plus 2. And now I multiply them. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. 2 times 6y squared is 12y squared, right? So I write that in that spot, 12y squared. Now 6y times minus 2 is minus 12y. So that'll go here, minus 12y. And then 6y times 6y squared is 36y to the third, 36y to the third. So we have our answer. It is, you just add them up, 36y to the third plus 12y squared minus 12y minus 4. And that is choice D. And you could do this in your head, and that's a good thing to practice, but I just wanted to make sure it was clean when I did it. And let's see. Should I continue with the next video, or should I stop there? Because I'm at 11 minutes. I'll stop there, and I'll see you in the next